Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning member, welcome back. If you're a new member, could you please share, like, and subscribe to the channel? Oh, by the way, don't forget to like the uh, channel and give me a thumbs up, please, because it does help. And today on Ron's Keto Cafe, we're going to be making a new recipe. Today we're going to be making Keto Jambalaya. And it could be any of your favorite meats. And I'll have the uh, directions over the timeline and uh, the ingredients that you'll need for this particular recipe. Now, what's great about a jambalaya is you can use just about any of your favorite meats. And this works great if you have a lot of leftover meat and you want to get rid of it without wasting your meats. Because meats right now are very, very expensive. In this particular recipe, I used chicken and I used uh, kibasa, a jambalaya, a Polish kibasa, on a uh, beef and pork. And uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up uh, buying a rotisserie chicken one day and I had some leftover from part of the uh, chicken breast. And I wanted to put it all together in a uh, frying pan and fried it all up. And then I realized I didn't have enough room and I ended up switching everything over to my Dutch oven to finish it up. And uh, this came out really, really great. So without further ado, why don't we just go right into the recipe and I'll talk a little bit over the timeline and so you get a general idea what I was doing and how I put this together. And it came out really, really great to my surprise. And then at the end, I portioned it out to three containers so I can have some future meals for the week. And uh, these are great. You can freeze these and have these anytime you want. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just go right into the recipe and uh, have an amazing day. Hi guys. So what we got going on here, we got a yellow onion a green bell pepper and an orange bell pepper. And it could be any choice of peppers of your choice. These are the ones that I chose because I wanted some different color in my uh, jambalaya. So to help speed up the process, I'm just speeding up the video to show you how I cut up my uh, peppers in it. I ended up using about a half of each and the rest of it I've stored in a uh, freezer ziplock bag for a future meal. And of course it helps if you have a sharp knife, which really I got to start thinking about investing into either a better knife set or a knife sharpener. And hopefully that will be the key to my solution to these issues I'm having cutting my meats and my vegetables. I'm using a beef Polish kibasa and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like slicing up my meat into different angle uh, slices and then I'm going to set it aside into a uh, bowl and uh, again we got to have a sharp knife there because right now my, my knives have been really struggling cutting through my meats and stuff like that and so it's time to start investing into some better product either on the shopping networks or on the uh, Kohl's website and uh, yeah, so just uh, if you follow me along in these uh, next three process steps here, yeah, you guys will be fine. And then I'm um, just, uh, now I get the uh, leftover chicken breast that I had from a couple of nights ago. And then I'm just cubing that up the best I can with a knife. And you can even use a pair of kitchen scissors if you have that. We're going to be using a bag of frozen cauliflower rice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to pop that into the microwave for about three minutes just to get it uh, warmed up and to try to get some of the moisture out of the frozen bag. You know. Now that our vegetables are done, we'll set those aside and for the next process you'll need a can of diced tomatoes and a couple of tablespoons of a tomato paste and the tomato paste will thicken the uh, juices up when we get this all going into the uh, stock pot or the uh, frying pan. Okay, so let's get cooking. You're just going to add a little bit of uh, avocado oil into your frying pan and get going and sustain your uh, vegetables. I got them to a little bit translucent and then I pulled them out of my pan and then I added my kibasi and uh, pulled the kibasi out and then I added my chicken and then I just cooked everything all up together and if you just follow me along with the next process and uh, how I'm doing it basically you'll be fine. This is a pretty easy recipe to get to put together. And then during the halfway cooking process, I realized I wasn't going to have enough room in my frying pan. And then I got my Dutch oven out and then I uh, ended up finishing up in a Dutch oven. I believe I got like a maybe a, either a four or six quart Dutch oven that I got from the, from the Home Shoppers Network. And uh, now I'm going ahead and frying up the uh, sausages. And, I, and I'm spraying them with a little cooking oil to help them cook a little bit faster and uh, so they don't burn on me. And uh, 
Yeah, and then towards the end of the cooking process, they put about a half a uh, can of uh, chicken broth in it, and uh, or it could be beef broth, or, or, you know, when they uh, put some more flavor in it, and then I sprinkle some Cajun uh, seasoning on top. Everything to always to taste. Only for the simple reason is I got to be careful now with my heartburn and. Uh, yeah, so this this is one of my favorite recipes that came out. I definitely plan on making it again. So when it was all done and completed, I ended up pushing it out into three uh, containers. And each one of those containers, I'll get two meals out of that. And uh, so this is all part of plan prepping and preparing, especially when you're trying to lose weight, guys. I can't stress that enough. I've had a lot of huge setback these last month and a half now, and it's time to get off the pot there, and, uh, literally speaking. And... Uh, I'm going to do an egg fast for a few days, going to a beef and butter fast, and uh, hopefully by then I should be back at the ketosis and uh, my back on track of my weight loss and uh, to, to know whether or not I'm going to be in ketosis. I'm going to be picking up a new mojo meter because mine got destroyed in the uh, uh, flood we had. Now over here I'm adding the chicken into the stock pot or to the uh, frying pan and I was just stirring it all up and trying to get not to go all over the stove top and everything and then I realized the pan was going to be too small and, uh, and within the next few minutes you'll see me uh, taking everything out and I just dumped it all into the uh, stock pot or the uh, Dutch oven so to speak. Now the great thing about the cast iron Dutch oven there, you could, I could have just taken the whole shebang after I got everything all in there and popped that into the oven and let it cook down as a casserole. And you could even add some cheese on top of here if you want, whatever. I mean, and of course the uh, choice of meats are gonna, it's, it's all up to you. Typically a gumbo jambalaya is made with, uh, you know, with uh, shrimp and all kinds of crab and all that stuff. And you can put some uh, corn on the cob and some other stuff like that if you're not doing keto. But it, it's, it's, this is a potluck type meal. It, 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 to my surprise, it came out really, really well. And you can see that I'm showing you the uh, Cajun chick, Cajun uh, spice that I was using. I just, was, I was looking for a specific spice at the store and I couldn't find it. And again, next time I order spices like that, I'll be ordering stuff on Amazon. Now I'm putting a couple of tablespoons of uh, the tomato paste in, probably about a third of the can. And then uh, now comes the uh, cauliflower rice after I steamed it out a little bit there. And again, I was just mixing it all up. And then I put the uh, cover on it and then I let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And then I popped the lid off and I had a little bit of bite as the uh, chicken broth I put in. Just the, uh, the guy, maybe, maybe about a cup. Again, I'm eyeballing everything as I'm going along and this came out really fantastic. So if you don't be afraid to experiment, what's the worst thing that can happen? If you don't like it, you throw it out, right? And then, then you have it, then you have a final product. And again, this came out really, really good. I, I plan on making it again. The only difference I wish I would have had was some fresh celery. So next time I make this, I'm definitely going to buy some celery, add some different uh, vegetables in it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below the video. Did you ever have this before? And uh, what's your favorite meats when you put it in the... Uh, stock pot. Anyways, have a great day. Love you guys.